Hi everybody, Paul Richards here, and in this video we're talking about how to live stream a concert. Every live streaming type of system is a little different, and we've got some tips for you uh, before you go out there and try to live stream a uh, concert, so hopefully we can help. Uh, let's get started. So here I am in my virtual set, um, going to uh, zoom in here, and we're going to talk a little bit about live streaming and ways to add a flair to uh, and have a successful live stream for your um, next time you live stream a concert. So when you're live streaming a concert, uh, branding is really important. Can you put name of the title of the, um, the people you're working with at the bottom? Is it, is it a festival? As we're going to show some uh, footage from a festival here um, where we've got, there's actually a festival. This is one we did a couple months ago. and um, we put the pretty good fest logo at the top there. Um, I believe that this video also has some, uh, I hope it has some panning, tilting, and zooming in it. Uh, maybe it doesn't really have any. Just kind of a good example of branding. Um, but uh, we're going to go over some options, some things here. So one is you want to secure a good network connection. So when you're live streaming a concert, you're going to a venue, you're not in your broadcast studio. First question you want to ask is, how can I get a network connection to my computer? You don't want to rely on Wi-Fi. So get that and secure it, um, and hopefully you know, get a good network connection for your upload for the, your live stream, and then um, maybe even do a local recording on your computer if that taps out or something goes wrong with it. At least you have your local recording on your computer. Um, the other thing to look for is make friends with the audio guy. If you're going to set up all the audio yourself and mic all the instruments and mic everything, more power to you. But most likely you're going to go into a situation where they already have an audio guy, they've already got audio equipment, and you need to take an output from that audio equipment into your live stream. So one way that I've been able to do that is you can convert XLR to USB. So a lot of times these, um, these boards here have an XLR output or multiple XLR outputs. So you can take a USB connection. Um, you can also convert XLR, um, or let's say quarter inch, to USB. So uh, if you're getting that into like a laptop, um, this is a good way to get it into your computer. If you have more of like a dedicated device, like this is an on-the-go, it's called the vMix Go, it's more of an on-the-go solution. Um, it should have quarter inch jacks that you can plug right into. Um, when it comes, so we talked about the audio and the networking. When it comes to a camera, you might want to have multiple cameras. Um, so you can have one camera uh, that's zoomed in on one person, and then you fade back and forth between multiple angles. You know, the singer, the whole band, the drummer, for example. It gives you the ability to uh, to use multiple cameras. So those are really our tips. So secure a good network connection. Make friends with the audio guy. Have a solution, have a couple solutions in your bag to convert whatever that audio guy's got into something that you can use with your live streaming setup and uh, use multiple cameras so that you can get a really nice video feed. So that's everything we have for you guys. Um, hopefully those tips are, are, will be helpful for you when you live stream your next concert. If you find videos like this helpful, of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a whole bunch of information below and thanks for watching our video.